Global Times, 29th of July 2023. Bolivia is the third country in South America to settle commerce in the bankrupt Chinese yuan due to the tide of de-dollarization among developing nations. Bolivia is looking for other currencies to trade with as it has a restricted supply of US dollars. Due to its faltering economy, China is frantically attempting to internationalize the Chinese yuan. The Bolivian government is reportedly pushing for opening Chinese banks in the nation as soon as possible amid a wave of de-dollarization spreading across third world nations. Bolivia is now the third South American country to use the Chinese yuan for trade settlement. According to Marcelo Montenegro, the minister of the Bolivian economy, the yuan is already being used in the nation and it's a reality and a good start, the Times magazine said on Friday. As well as importing cars and capital goods, exporters of items like bananas, zinc, and timber to China are also doing business in yuan, according to Montenegro. According to Montenegro, Bolivia carried out financial transactions of 278 million Chinese yuan, $38.7 million, between May and July, making up 10% of Bolivia's total international commerce. Before Bolivia, yuan usage in trading settlements had already been started in Argentina and Brazil. Brazil and Argentina signed memorandums of cooperation with China in February to establish yuan clearance arrangements in Brazil. Meanwhile, Argentina revealed plans to use the Chinese currency yuan to pay for products imported from China in April. According to the Argentine ambassador to China, Sabino Baca Narvaja, enabling Chinese yuan accounts by Argentina's central bank in the country's banking system is a significant step forward in lowering exchange rate costs, fostering financial efficiency, and encouraging currency diversification. According to Zai Junyong, a professor at the Shanghai University of Finance and Economics, developing nations increasingly use the Chinese yuan to settle trade disputes. He predicted that this trend will continue to the Global Times on Saturday. As the most significant trading nation in the world, China will create a substantial demand for you on settlement. According to Xi, the country has been growing the opening up of its financial activities, and the Chinese yuan's exchange rates have remained comparatively steady compared to those of other significant currencies. While the US continues to weaponize its currency, Particularly in the wake of the Ukraine issue, an increasing number of nations have come to understand the importance of pursuing a more diverse international monetary system, according to Xi. According to Chinese experts, many developing nations have been under increasing pressure due to capital outflows, currency devaluation, and rising debt servicing costs during the US Fed's aggressive interest rate hike cycle. According to media reports, Bolivia has been dealing with a dollar scarcity since February, significantly impacting the nation's economy. According to a statement released by the Chinese embassy in Bolivia, the governor of Bolivia's central bank, Edwin Rojasulo, it was stated during a meeting with the Chinese ambassador to Bolivia, Huang Yizhong, on July 20 that the financial sector is a crucial component of China-Bolivia's collaboration in promoting the Belt and Road Initiative. According to the governor, Bolivia's central bank will continue to work closely with Chinese financial institutions to promote healthy growth in bilateral commerce and investment. Bolivia's second-largest commercial partner and a leading supplier of imports are China. According to sources, there is bilateral cooperation between China and Bolivia in various fields, including oil and gas development, information technology, aerospace and infrastructure. According to figures from China's General Administration of Customs, bilateral trade between China and Bolivia reached 8.42 billion yuan in the first half of the year, increasing by 77.4% over the previous year. At 2% global acceptance, the yuan is now the third most often used currency for trade finance and the fifth most widely used currency for foreign reserves. 